look forward to and more on DXB Today. Hey there, welcome to yet another edition of DXB Today. I hope you've enjoyed your day in this extraordinary city. Opportunity now uh, just to relax, to lay back uh, and to indulge in some of the great things to look forward to here in the coming days and weeks. None more so than Dubai's big tech fest. It is back, 12th edition of Step Conference, returning to Dubai, bringing together uh, the innovators, the investors, the entrepreneurs from across the globe. And we've seen great success in years gone by. This city claims to be a tech hub. Uh, we will, of course, prove that right. Let's have a little look and see what's coming up tonight. Paris heads down to the second location of Cinema Aquila 25 Hours Hotel to explore their communal space and open cinema theatre. Plus we've got talented singer Arriva B joining us for a special performance right here in the studio. And guys, the Step Festival is happening, the largest tech and startup festival in the region. What do you think about that? That's amazing like, to have it here in Dubai as well. It's great to have it back. I mean, yeah. it's what, the 12th edition of, of, of STEP. Um, it started small, as with so many things in this extraordinary city. It has grown and grown and year, grown and grown and grown in years gone by. But what I love about STEP is that it, it, it does exactly that. It's, it's moving forward every single year. We're seeing the results of previous years, year on year. Uh, the list and the, the, the quality of speakers just gets bigger and better every single year. Uh, the reputation is growing year on year. And again, just going back to the point we made a little bit earlier on, adding to that, that idea that Dubai really has become a sort of hub for tech innovators and entrepreneurs. And what better venue, what better platform to have than the step. You know, I couldn't agree with you more, Tom, because the UAE in general has been actively fostering a very supportive environment for entrepreneurs through so many different uh, startup accelerators, investment funds, and so on. Additionally, guys, let's not forget, we are in Dubai. It is the jewel of the world, the pearl of the Gulf, or is that Sharjah? I'm not sure, but anyway, <laughs> don't quote me on that. But in general, if you look at the different um, opportunities uh, the amount of investments that have been made for innovation, the extremely diverse economy, the cultural melting pot that we are in. This place is absolutely fertile and I don't see why anyone wouldn't want to move here. And it's such a great place, such a attractive destination for businesses and startups to really grow and expand, yeah. I feel. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's a great point for them to flourish as well. And since today we're talking about the STEP conference, who better to have with us than our guest co-host? So let's find out who it is. Hey there, my name is Ray Dargham. I'm the founder and CEO of STEP. Looking forward to seeing you in the studio. Ray will join us a little bit, but first, exploring hidden gems for cinephiles. Paris went down to the 25-hour hotel to witness the second launch of Cinema Akil, the only independent cinema of the region to explore the new multifaceted communal space. Let's take a look. I don't know if you know this, but the UOE only has one independent cinema. Well, the good news is, now there's two. Today, we're in Trade Center with Cinema Aqil in 25 hours, and we're gonna check out what we can expect here. And here we are with the general manager of Cinema Aqil, Mr. Khalid al -Sabah. Thank you so much for having us again. Thank you, Faris. Thank you for uh, coming to Cinema Aqil in 25 hours this time. We're really excited because, of course, uh, Cinema Aqil is the only UAE independent cinema, and now there's two of them. How's the reception been here in Trade Center? It's been great. Uh, we we're very excited about. We were very excited about this project. Uh, it's a new outpost for Cinema Aqil, a new cinematic experience. Uh, expect a lot from it. Uh, it's in the middle of uh, the business town, our business area of Dubai. Uh, so we uh, we feel special here uh, and we feel different and uh, we want to really uh, become a vital part of the community. Now I know because of the location where we are and everything you can only do one screening a day obviously because it's a very busy area. Now 
Sidcal Avenue is well known for people who love art, who love culture, who love going a little bit out there. Trade Center is a little bit more business focused. Are you getting the people from these offices coming to Cinema Aqil or is it usually people coming from Sirkal over here? We have people coming from all over. A lot of people are wanting to come for this experience from different areas of the country. Uh, but yes, of course, we're seeing a lot of people from this area coming in. Uh, and this is the point of it. Yeah, we're opening conversation, we're opening a dialogue, uh, we're you know bringing in independent cinema elsewhere in Dubai. Uh, cinema Aqil started off as a pop-up cinema uh, in the city and it was driven by the passion and interest and love uh, for independent cinema uh, and the independent genre uh, by the founder uh, of Cinema Aqil, Bufayna Qazim. A uh, few screenings, pop-ups here and there with partners who were gracious enough to give space. And then four years later, we moved into al Sirkal Avenue, uh, into our first permanent home, uh, first permanent independent cinema in the GCC region. Uh, and we've been doing amazing uh, festivals and programming uh, for the last four years there, uh, so in total eight. And today marks the new milestone in our uh, journey, uh, a new cinematic experience in Cinema Aqil in 25 hours. Do we have dreams to open even more Cinema Aqils around the city? Always, uh, around the city, around the world, why not? Yeah, I mean, this is our aim, is to uh, you know, be a platform that showcases uh, uh, and puts uh, independent uh, cinema forward. Khaled, once again, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for having us here. Thank you, Faris. Thank you for coming. Yes, the magic of Cinema Aqil now in a new location. And the great news is, even when there's no screening, if you come in the daytime, this is a public space. You can come, have a sit down, have a conversation, and check out the beautiful antiques. Yeah, Faris down at the cinema. day out at the cinema for Faris. Uh, but yeah, concur, a wonderful communal space all the same. Right. On now to our guest co-host today uh, is the founder of the largest tech and startup festival here in the region, bringing together uh, influential personalities to one place. Please welcome uh, to the show CEO of Step. It is Ray Duggan. Ray, good to see you as always. Thanks so much indeed for your time. Yeah, thanks for having me again. Good I know how busy time. it is for you at the moment, uh, and uh, obviously building up to what promises to be yet another extraordinary Step conference. I mean, it's. It's so much more than a conference, isn't it? STEP has become a movement in many ways. Yeah, absolutely, that's correct. We started as a small community, but now it's become really like a reunion for the startup ecosystem and the tech community in Dubai and the region every year. So it's become put, like an annual thing that people wait for and look forward to. Put it into sort of context and figures for me. So 12th edition now, Correct. Yeah. Um, your Four baby years. has grown over the years as well. So. Put it into context of where, how far we've come in terms of sort of numbers and size, if you like. Yeah, that's, uh, this year we're looking at hosting more than 350 companies, uh, startups, uh, tech companies, mainly from the UAE and the region and some global ones as well. Um, almost 8,000 attendees will be there, 300 speakers spread across five tracks, uh, six tracks, sorry, uh, four stages uh, at the same time. So. The, the nature of the event, and you've been a few times, it's, yeah. it's, it's like a festival, uh, it's like an indoor-outdoor experience. So uh, even now, because it's been there for so many years, people come and know what to expect. So they're more laid back. Uh, it's more about connecting with others, reconnecting for for many, because that's like the day that everyone comes back and, and meet, meets each other again. So uh, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a journey we've hosted over the years. Uh, thousands of, of companies uh, that some of them have started with us with just like the founders uh, and now have become uh, known brands that yeah. you're probably familiar with and have raised uh, tens if not hundreds of millions of dollars and employed a lot of people uh, across Dubai and the region so uh, it's, it's been great I mean we've played a, a, a small role in, in their success and uh, we're proud to do that. I like that. You also discussed the six tracks and something that you're having in the 2024 edition. So can you tell us more about it? And there's also an AI track as that's well. That's correct. Yeah, that's so our new has track. To be, has yeah. to be. It has yeah. to be. I mean, what, what I think is that also our conference uh, in general will eventually become an AI conference. Yes. Uh, mm. Just as software will just become all AI. Uh, okay. it's, it's, it's really software 2.0 that we're headed into. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you guys saw what OpenAI released yesterday. Uh, it's been, you know, the internet has been going wild yes. over it, but you can basically, like use ChatGPT, you can with, you know, just a prompt, uh, two sentences prompt generate 
full uh, video. Uh, it's insane. Like, like it can almost replacing uh, film. I'm sure you guys are worried. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Take over our Should jobs. Stop talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, thanks, Ray, for rubbing it in. Why not? <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, pretty crazy what's uh, what we're headed to. But it's also at the same time there's dangers of AI, but also yeah. there's a lot of you know positive aspects to it and and how much it can add to productivity and enhance uh, you know the economy and how just product everything more productive is going to be it's already we're already seeing it yes. in our own company as well and across a lot in our community uh, just you know increasing productivity day-to-day -day productivity being able to do more with less mm -hmm. uh, you know there's talks like Sam Altman mentioned that's going to be we're not far from having one billion dollar companies that are run by 10 people. So imagine yeah. having 10 people company that's worth a billion dollars. It's crazy to think about. Why? Because just, you know, increase in productivity, being able to do more with less, less mm -hmm. money, less resources. Now, Ray, I understand that you've been doing this for the last 12 years. And in fact, off camera, we were just discussing how the population of the UAE has gone up nearly 25% since COVID. With so many people choosing the UAE as their home, coming and settling here, starting their businesses, how different would you say this year's STEP conference has been compared to the previous years? Yeah, we've evolved with Dubai, right? We're, we're, we were born here, a uh, Dubai story, and we've grown with the city and with the startup ecosystem as well. Uh, and it's, it's evolved a lot over the years in a way that we see new audiences, new uh, companies from, uh, from new markets. And we're seeing that more uh, now, whether it's uh, companies from Eastern Europe, from the, the US, from Europe, they're coming here and, and setting up in the UAE. Um, our strategic partners are Dubai Internet City as well. So they also you know, play a role in attracting companies from around the world to come and set up in Dubai. And, uh, either move their business here or just start uh, from from Dubai and the UAE. So uh, we've played a role in that, and we help we do help companies as well and founders uh, to find their way around uh, in Dubai, find fundraising, f funding, or hire people, or how to set up. That's part one one of the roles that Step plays. Uh, you know, in that event once a year. That we'd... One, one of the things I love about the festival is it's fun. There's an element of fun. You know, as you mentioned, people feel relaxed. You feel, you don't feel that you're out of place, you know, and that's one of your big yeah. things, isn't it? I mean, you don't have to be a tech guru to come down to the, to so the, what's, to the what's, what's the point without having fun, right? Everyone wants to have a little bit of fun. You know? you, so see, say that, say that loud and proud. If you're on doing a show on TV or you're working in a company, if it's not fun, people don't like it, right? So. That's always been one of the elements. And because it's fun while we're putting it together, we have fun as well in the process, right? So you continue. Of course, you have the stress, you have the, the, the challenges that you face like any business, but a lot of it, we're curating experiences. And experiences is just like if you go to a restaurant, uh, it's, it's similar, right? People are coming to, with a goal to connect with others to develop their businesses, but also to have fun. So yeah, yeah. they want to have fun along the way. So actually this year, we're, one of the new things is we put a lot of effort on what we call satellite events. Yeah. Okay. So there's probably between 20 and 30 smaller events happening around the conference, outside the conference area that's organized by the community essentially. So uh, some are organized by funds, some are organized by companies, some just by individuals or... All in Dubai. All also. in Dubai, all yeah. in Dubai, yeah, across the city. So either you know the day before or the, the day off or the day after so it's it's kind of the, that's part of the the festival vibe and the, again reconnecting with everyone and uh, just one last question because i wanted to ask you before we go to break what are the dates of the conference if, for anyone that's watching right now yes. so they know so it's 21 and 22 of february uh, okay wednesday and thursday uh it's a it's a day event so it runs from about 9 a.m until about 6 p.m and then Onward afterwards, you go to the satellite event. So the parties okay. at night, the things that are happening. <laughs> I like that. That's where the deals happen, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, Ray, we still have a lot of time to discuss the STEP conference, but coming up, we discuss digital solutions at the STEP conference with Yellow Branding. Plus, we've got a guitarist in the studio. Stay right there.